Cobra here. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video on Soul Mask, which by the way releases tomorrow, or by the time this video goes up, probably this morning, the 31st of this month, um, which we're super excited about. But for this video, I'm going to be talking about some of the mid-game ores and where to find them, <coughs> as well as um, what I consider to be some of the best spots for them. So we're going to start off with Phosphate Ore. So right here we've got what my probably my favorite, or at least the easiest to get is for Phosphate Ore. You can see I just killed these guys a minute ago. Um, there were three of them, level 27. So that's not too high of level since this is mid-game. Um, much e lower than the other ones that you could get for this. But you can see these little rocks with the yellow in them. That is going to give you phosphate ore. And you can see there's actually quite a few of them outside. And then there's a lot more inside. Let's see if I can get close enough to get a scan. Yeah, you can see you know, there's a good amount of them inside as well. So plenty of phosphate ore if you need that. This location is going to be the, probably the first one you will get to. It is this medium pit directly above the Fog Frog boss. And you'll see the other ones that give phosphate ore are going to be over here. You've got small pit, you've got big pit, and you've got small pit here. And I have a hunch, I haven't explored all this, but I'm guessing that in this region as well you're going to find more of this phosphate ore. But the earliest one you're going to find is going to be this one because that's in the 27 range for levels. These ones are upper 40s, so you're going to be most likely a lot easier to get this one. All right, so here we are at our next ore. This one is iron ore. And actually, I'm going to stay on this. Now, iron ore is a little bit tougher to get simply because a lot of the locations have enemies in front of them or are located in poisonous areas. So I'll show you a few here. There's this ancient ruins dungeon. You can see iron ore in that. Over here, there's a small pit with iron ore. The holy ruins here has iron ore. And this entire valley in front of the holy ruins here also has iron ore. So if you have a, an antidote to, or a little bit of poison resist, really easy to place to grab some because it's all outside. So you can just outrun the snakes and the frogs or scorpions or whatever they're not too frequent so you can just run around them and get a good amount over here uh, you can also get some up here in the ancient dungeon and if i'm not mistaken somewhere in here there are a few as well uh looks like i have not discovered them yet but i have heard that there is and then you'll see here um <coughs> Sorry. We also have these Ancient Ruins dungeons and other Holy Ruins. These all have robots in them. The mechanical people, the robots, when you kill them, they will drop. I'll show you right here how you get uh, iron. So they'll drop. Sorry, it's uh, this one. They will drop metal chunks, metal parts, and occasionally from the chest you can get metal plates in there as well. So that is a free way to get iron, especially at low levels, because you can get into this dungeon and complete it in the early 20s. Like, once you get bronze, you can actually beat the entire dungeon, and that can get you a decent amount of these metal chunks, which then you can, once you get a higher level, then turn into iron. So that's going to be the earliest you're going to get. Other than that, like I said, we have the Ancient Ruins dungeon here, the Holy Ruins here, and outside. This little small pit. And then you've got the Ancient dungeon here. So a lot of it's going to be from the mechanical ones. But there are some nodes and things like the ones over here. Um, or the ones in the caves leading up to a lot of these places that can be accessed. So I'll show you right now. This one right here is this Ancient Ruins dungeon is straight west of the ape boss and you can see we'll go in you've got to watch out for poison and centipedes so this little you can, it's hard to see because it's raining um, these little rocks they look similar to the coal but they have little red in them looks like almost rust that's going to be the iron rocks 
Um, the further you get in, obviously, the more there is. But it's pretty dangerous, and I don't feel like actually waiting and having to fight all of that for you. So that is a little bit on iron. So the third ore that we have is coal ore. <coughs> now for coal ore... <coughs> Sorry for the coughing. Uh, I got something stuck in my throat. For coal ore, there are a bunch of spots. They're actually a little spread out, surprisingly. You can see right here, there's a small pit with coal ore. Um, over here is actually another small pit. Actually, sorry, my bad. That is phosphate. Um, up above us is another coal ore here. And down here, there is another coal ore. So coal ore is located in this region. There's most likely a few more over here that I haven't actually gone to yet. But this is the region you're going to want to look for, which is going to be directly above the Vara Ape boss. So right above that is where you're going to find all the coal ore. This is used for um, really long uh, duration of bonfires. It's also used for powering like the blast furnace and that kind of stuff. Now, so in this particular one, I already harvested some of it earlier, but we're going to look. You can see there are a few outside. Uh, normally, there's a handful more than this. They look similar to the iron, except there's no red, and it's a little bit darker. So you can see right there, just from that one node, you know, we got 37, and inside here, there's a total of two enemies. One boar and one elite boar, and you can see this isn't even all of them. There are quite a few nodes in here. I want to say I got like 12 or 1300 coal one time when I came in here. And to be honest, the elite boar is pretty easy to kill. You just watch out for his charge, and you should be good with that. Now this one right here, this is just a small pit. That's the one I like going to. But the medium pits also have a little bit more. They just have a little bit more uh, enemies in them. So here we are. This is going to be the last of the four ores that we cover tonight. This is sulfur ore. So you can see this yellow ore right here. This is your sulfur ore. You can actually get quite a lot of it. And you can see how many of these rocks there are even outside of this place. So it's a really easy one to get. The only thing is you have to come to the volcano or near it. So I'm going to show you on the map. Right now, this is going to be the... Most accessible one for everyone is because the Mysterious Hill Portal is right here. You just go straight west, cross this river, and just barely into this zone is this medium pit with sulfur. The other ones you're going to see are further into the volcano, medium pit here, small pit here, big pit here. Now these ones are going to be levels in the 40s. Uh, up in front of us right here you can see 20s and 30s so this is going to be the easiest sulfur location by far if you're trying to farm just a little bit of it um, you can just get these ones outside and actually avoid fighting entirely if you want a ton you can go in and get even more but it's a really easy one and so these are the four spots for it that i have revealed as of right now but i have a hunch that as we push back this way in the volcano as well we're going to find more of this sulfur. So just a quick recap of the four that we went over today. We have phosphate ore which is going to be found in this region right here. You've got this one is going to be the most early one directly above the fog frog boss as well as these ones right here and I'm guessing more in this region. We've got sulfur the last one I just went over that's going to be found down here with this one right here being the easiest to get to. We have coal ore which is going to be found up here in this region. These are the three I have found. I'm guessing there's a few more over here. Um, this one was the one that I showcased that only had a total of two enemies in it. So really easy to get through there. And then the other one was the iron ore, which is you're going to find in a lot of these dungeons is where you're going to find iron ore in the caves leading up to them. Um, but there's also this small pit right here. And this whole valley right here, it is toxic, but it's got iron in it. So if you have poison resist, that's good. I want to say that there's a few in the desert for that, but I have not actually discovered those yet. And then the other place you can get iron is going to be 
in the actual mechanical dungeons themselves. So any of these, it's an Ancient Ruins dungeon or Ancient Dungeon. Once you get into the robot part, once you kill those, they will drop the metal chunks and metal parts. And those can be then smelted into iron ingots. So those count for iron. Yeah, basically, they're identical to iron or just with a different name. And you get them a different way. So those are some of the mid-game ores you're going to need. There's also ones like salt ore, but that is not used quite as much, mainly for cooking. Um, that one's kind of spread out. There's one there. There's one down here. There's this one down here. So there's salt as well. But the main ones are those ones that I shared with you. And if you have any questions about these or anything else, please let me know. Uh, I also do have a video that goes over copper, tin, and clay. Uh, however, there have been some changes made, and I have discovered more, so I know there are more locations for specifically copper, and clay is all over the map wherever you find water. Um, but copper, they added a few spots over on this side, and they even changed this one, which previously was coal ore, to copper ore. But uh, if you want to check out that video... Um, go to my page and I have that video out as well but these are all the mid ones and then maybe I will see if I can get a late game or one as well going over the things you're going to need for steel and all that kind of stuff if you have any questions just leave a comment below let me know if there's any other videos you want to see me go over please let me know and please like and subscribe and keep watching for more content